Hello everybody and welcome to Disco Elysium. Uh, my name is Spartan Elite 43, at least I think it is. And I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Never even heard of this game. But I saw it today in the Xbox store and I was like, that sounds interesting. I kind of want to try it. So we're going to give it a shot. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. So it should be fun. It should be real fun. Alright. New game. Select archetype. Am I a thinker? Am I sensitive? Am I physical? Or can I create my own? Oh boy. Um, I like to think of myself as a thinker. So I'll probably go with thinker. I have no idea anything about this. So extremely intelligent. Very bad with people. No, I mean, I don't know about extremely intelligent. I wouldn't call myself extremely intelligent. I do have a good brain, but not quite extremely. But uh, very bad with people. That that rings true. Knows interesting facts. Uh, that's definitely true. Comes up with original ideas. Eh, I don't know. A little weird on that one. Let's get into it. What's up, Mr. Big? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. The Furies are at home in the mirror. It is their address. Even the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. All right. Interesting. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Well, I guess that's the game, guys. Appreciate you stopping by. <laughs> Ever. Never. All right, so we are an ancient reptilian brain. There is nothing, only warm primordial blackness. Your conscience ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore, ever. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever. Simply keep on non-existing. I guess we go with never, never, ever. Never, ever, ever, baby. What's up, unknown? How's it going? I mean, an inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. No ex-wives are contained. What is this game? Like seriously, what? <laughs> what is this? This is great. Exactly, this is great. I have no idea what this is. Give me some more. What was the about the ex something? This yeah. is. It is. An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle. Soaking in some lurid acidic source. It's bloated and shameful. A ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning. And it will only lead to more awareness. Of the meat. Oh no, not the meat thing, guys. <laughs> what the hell am I playing? <laughs> God, this is one of those times where I wish I had a face cam because my face is like, I'm, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, plunge back into the fathomless deep. No, I wanted to know about the X something. Now I'm going back into the fathomless deep. There, no ball of meat. No light in the formless nothing.
Uh, not planning on playing uh, World of Warships Legends. I'm going to be streaming that tomorrow for the Salt Ration. Um, I generally only stream it once a week, and I just do the regular videos for it for the rest of the time. Uh, so. Okay, so. A return trip to the silence, please. Let's visit the ancient Zero home. Okay. And look, there's a... I am tired of being this type of animal, and who gives a shit? That sounds uh, kind of like my thing. Not you. Your days of giving a shit and being that type of animal are over. Wait, no. I need to belittle myself instead. Do you really? I do. I wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why'd you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself, got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? Wait, I did this to- did I kill myself? Is that what this is? I don't care, I'm an idiot, a brave idiot. Somewhere. Bloated man meet around you. A sensation. We got a sensation. Uh-oh. Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat around you. A sensation. Good lord. What is like this game? Fly to the ointment. Your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain. An undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert. Hurting. Longing. Dancing to disco music. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth. And with it, an un. Godly headache. Yeah, I never really got into back like Back for Blood. I heard is even worse than the Left for Dead's. It's made by the same people that made Left for Left for Dead, um, and I I heard it's not that great. So I don't know if I'll play that either. I uh, just I don't know. Left for Dead was fun back in the day, but I mean, is it really going to be fun now? Probably not. Okay, the stench of liquor rises from your mouth, and with it, an ungodly headache. A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound, a clarion call from hell. Somehow, you know what it is. A caprice to name a most garage. I'm alive! I think. I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> what is this game? For real? <laughs> um. Explain yourself, sir. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. That's a necktie? Okay. It's not what I thought it was. Savoir fire. So, say, good lord. I don't speak French. Medium 10. Grab the tie. This is a white chick. You may retry it. I mean, let's do it. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. All right. Fair enough. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous thick tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Oh. Did we try to hang ourselves on the ceiling fan? I don't feel like that's a good idea.
Uh. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole. Your eyes burn with photosensitivity. It's not good. The blades come squeaking to a halt. This game is strange. I'll give it that. I have no idea what I'm doing. The lights are off again. All right, let's uh, let's grab our pants and our shirt. Preferably the pants first, but I'll take it. All right, we've got pants. We've got a shirt. We're going to make something of ourselves. <laughs> Looks like somebody tore out the tape while the song was playing. Did we actually kill ourselves or is this something that uh You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Well, fish them out. It says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring. There is a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Well, that's the good to whirling know. Whirling in rags is a hostile cafeteria on the urban coast, frequented by dock workers. Okay. Magnum sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Well, I'm assuming this is a bathroom, so maybe we go into the bathroom? Let's a mirror take a look at ourselves. Bent and broken sink. In a fit, hot water sprays from the base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the outline of a man. Okay. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Yes! I, I should call, I should make a clan, and I should call it ev public enemy number one. Because that's what anybody in that clan would be. Abort. Trust me, you don't want them. that kind of notoriety. You see there, and you will never unbecome it. We will never unbecome it? I don't care. Ah! You're right. Didn't want to see it. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Nope. Sure don't. It appears you're also dead. There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? This guy is creepy. Uh, I think it might be because I'm a superstar. I'm not making it. The face is making itself. Or I have no idea why it's here. It just is. I think it's because I'm a superstar. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. This is what superstars do. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Ha! 
I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off too. I, it in a sad has been kind of way. There is some charm to it. <laughs> there might have been ten years ago. It's little more than a cadaverous spasm now. Encyclopedia. Dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. We must wipe it out of existence. It belongs in the new, the third decade of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution that, for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate, uncontested way of life for our What's species. up, Jason? Django, how's it going? Hayden, I see you. Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly, disco, disco happened. happened. For Revachol, your city, Oops. that meant only one thing. Guillaume Lamillion. What he said. If it doesn't rhyme, you're not pronouncing it right. <laughs> Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music. It knows me too well. Air, what de nuit, somewhere in Revachol West, Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit. Then he made the expression. Anything else? Like who I am? Why did I drink myself into oblivion? Some 20 odd years. There is a vast ocean of time between right now and the expression. Looking good on you. Or anyone. Humanity has run aground in that time. It's a different world now. The expression. The click is used to spur on a horse. It also features heavily in Guillaume Lamillion's regional mega hit. Don't what up, war crime? Your pretty little head. I could, I could make a clan, but here's the thing: I don't want to. I don't want to have anything to do with a clan. Maybe I'll join a clan, but I'm not worried about like making a clan because that that requires effort and uh then you need people to like pay attention to stuff and it just turns into a bunch of drama and obnoxious bull crap all right i'll be honest I'm bored of this game already. It's going away. I have no idea what it is, but I'm bored. So guess what? I guess we are jumping over to Legends after all. So, uh, now that I've changed the title of the stream, what the hell do I actually want to play? i tell you this, I don't really want to play, but, I mean, we might as well start with the Yami. Did I earn my credits or buy them? I earned them. I haven't bought credits since, like, first month in? Something like that? I click legends and suddenly we're up to 30, 30 people watching. It's amazing. What do we got? Kleber and Ashima. 
Because reasons. Let's make sure that I'm uh, using the correct settings. Okay, we're good there. All right, Gearing, are you at least trustworthy? We'll see. Play the hood or Fiji? Well, if those are my two choices, it would probably be the hood because Fiji is not fun to play. That thing gets dev struck way too often. Oh my god. Release the dogs! Wait for it! Ugh. Wow, that was really, really pathetic. Come on, Wargaming. Where's my Yami? I want my Yami. Is this guy actually gonna try to go through mid or is... I don't think so. Ah, crap. We fired our guns at the Massachusetts and there's an Alaska out there just begging for it. That was a better shot. Oh, Alaska! All days! God, look at that awful dispersion! Okay, Shima is on the right, so there, there's at least that. Means potential for a Kleber over here. That's a better salvo, but of course now he's going to turn out. And there's the Kleber. Fantastic. You love to see it. Love to see it. Get him! Come on, Gary! Punch him! Come on, you can do it, Gary! No, you can't, because you. Fantastic. Fan absolute tastic. You love to see it. Yep. What's up, Nathan? Thank you for becoming the newest Spartiate. Welcome to the channel. We now have a uh, gearing on the loose. And as soon as I look away, he gets spotted. And then he disappears as soon as I try to look at him. Fantastic. Love this game. There's so much to love about World of Warships Legends. Oh, look! A whole mess of torpedoes! Who could have seen that coming? He's only 10 kilometers from me. I'm sure these won't hit me. Right? Right? And I'm sure they won't do that much damage. It's, I mean, I've got 50% torpedo reduction. Oh, there goes a third of my health! With only two torpedo hits! He's gonna flip around and go the other direction now! Because balance! Love this game! It's so much fun. Can't imagine why I don't stream this every single night. It's almost like I already post a video of it every day. Oof. You love hitting people for uh, a solid over-penetration. Those are so much fun. You know, I've never once been over-penetrated by a torpedo. I feel like I've been robbed. Oh, hello, Kleber. Please introduce yourself to this man. Hey, look, he got his torpedoes back already. Isn't that fantastic? 
Like, I feel like we've actually contributed to our team because we actually got rid of the most broken goddamn ship in the fucking game. Don't worry, we're gonna die for our efforts, because that's the way this game works. Never mind the fact that there's a Mogami launching torps from right next to us. Isn't it fun? Didn't we enjoy this game? It's so much fun, so rewarding to play a game where you have sneaky motherfuckers that are able to get like four kilometers from you and completely fucking nuke you, and you can do nothing about it. You can do nothing about it. It's so much fun. It's so rewarding. It's so good. Wargaming, please add another bullshit fucking destroyer to the game. Please. It's so much fun. And then nerf all of the battleships into the fucking ground because why would anybody want to play battleships? Seriously. Bring in fire spammers and torpedo fucking bombers. Let's go. All of the, all of the most fun fucking things in the game. All of them. Welcome to an early salt ration, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you've enjoyed. I don't even play- The ship is so fucking broken, I don't even play it. And I still play Shima. What does that tell you about this fucking piece of shit? I refuse to play it. I refuse to give in to the bullshit that is the fucking Kleber. There's no reason it should fucking be as strong as it is, but it is. It's like, oh, let's see. It gets torps off of both sides of its ship. It reloads those torpedoes pretty quickly. They hit like a fucking nuclear bomb. And it has a fucking skill that it can actually be even more fucking invisible than a Shimakaze. Oh, and did I mention it gets a main battery reload booster so that it can fuck up any fucking destroyer that it comes up against? Yeah, that's a thing too. Because why would it have a weakness? Oh, but it doesn't get smoke. That's right. It's a Kleber. It doesn't get smoke. That's the weakness. It's not like it does 70 fucking knots and is completely fucking invisible. Hey, Jason, how's it going? Thank you for the $2 dono. I'm having all the fun, guys. Having all the fun, can't you tell? Yep. Fully enjoying it. Fully enjoying it. Can't imagine what else I would rather be doing at this exact moment. There's nothing. It's just this. Oh, but look! Look, we get a destroyer that doesn't spawn in for the first minute. Yes! How did you know this is exactly what I wanted? This is exactly what I wanted. It's always the fucker that spawns right next to me that just does nothing. Just like the gearing in the last match, who went in and got absolutely obliterated 30 seconds into the fucking first fight. It's, it's like Wargaming knows me better than I know myself. Hello, Todd. How's it going? Oh no, but if, if I division, I lose out on all this fun. I'm having so much fun, Jason. Can't you tell? So much fun. Look at this. Who else could have this much fun right now? Nobody. Look at this. I'm sure this will absolutely destroy this man. I mean, he's a broadside cruiser, and I have ridiculous guns. Oh, yeah, that's right. He gets away with basically nothing. 900 hull damage. 900. You, you ever hit somebody that hard before? I feel like we really showed him who's boss. Really showed him. Luckily, I've got three battleships coming in this direction sometime in the next 20 years. And then my my destroyer pal, he's nowhere to be found. We do have an Alaska that I'm about to roll up on. And a Yami. But the Yami's kind of at a distance. Let's go ahead and hit this and see if we can't catch this Alaska. Oh, he's not in my freaking range. Dang. Well, I might as well roll up. And if they're going to run away from this side, I might as well take advantage of it. Oh, there's the Alaska. Let's hope that that clears the fucking island. So, no, that, that can't happen. Why would I ever think that I could clear the island? It's ridiculous. Only a fool would take that shot. Only a fool. 
every time I look at somebody, they disappear. It's so much... Hey, look! The guy fucking woke up! He's only three minutes late! Glad he woke up. Really, really feel like he's gonna contribute. He's gonna be amazing. Didn't think that was going to do much. Yeah, pretty well angled. Concentrate fire on the Stop complaining about your team. I look, a conqueror! And boom! Nuclear warhead explodes on my ship. Double fires takes almost a third of my health. And what do I get back for my trouble? I get nothing. I get nothing. Clunk. Oh, there we go. That was a better hit. Oh, here he comes again. He's firing AP this time. Yeah, keep the keep firing the AP. That's how you play the Conqueror. I respect it, but it's also a terrible idea. Especially when I'm a fucking cruiser, a legendary cruiser with a 32 millimeter bow is bow tanking you. You have no chance with AP. Especially from a conqueror. Alright, well, we got this. I guess we just sit here. Guess we just sit here. Maybe the Shima will go nuke him? That's what Shimas do. That's what I did. Hell. I was in a 5v5. I put up 200,000 damage in a Shima. Surely this guy can do something. I don't want to go around the next corner, because as you can see, there's a Yami waiting for me, and there's a Gross Akurfurst waiting for me, and I have the Conqueror here. But uh, my battleships are starting to move up, so I feel pretty good there. Oh, look, he's back! There we go. Ah, yes. Knocks out my gun. Fantastic. Now I use my damage con, and now he'll double fire me on the next salvo of HE, because... If he's smart, he will actually use the HE. I don't know why he's using AP right now, but I'll take it. I mean, he only hit me for like a third of my health with the first salvo of HE and set two fires. Why would he actually use HE against me? Like I said, I respect it, but it is pretty stupid to not use H or HE when you're in a Conqueror. We got Nico over there. Nice. Hey, look, the Ochakov has made it all the way through that side and is now pushing out with uh, two destroyers helping him. I mean, all of our battleships ran away from that side, so... I mean, they're, they're going to do a lot over here. Yeah, this guy's not going to come out. The Alaska's behind that island. I've got no shot on any of these guys. And the Conqueror is just going to sit there, and then Arshima's going to go close range to the Conqueror, get detected, and get nuked. I'm waiting for it. The Conqueror is going to one-shot this man with HE. Any moment. Here it comes. I mean, there's a good chance that he actually catches the Conqueror, like, completely off guard here. And the Conqueror took all of his health except a little bit, so he actually lives. And uh, Conqueror shouldn't live. 15 demon fish from this close. Hopefully he doesn't live. Yeah. Down he goes. Alright. Yes. Turn for me. Turn for me, Kerfurst. Uh, anybody ready for some gratuitous violence? Wait for it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Gratuitous violence. Shimakaze from the blackness 
absolutely fantastic. Yeah, great. Yep. Having, having a good time. Having all the fun. <sighs> Why do I play this game? Why do I play this game? Let's go. Let's go have some fun. Let's actually enjoy life. Let's jump in the Arizona. Just enjoy life. It'll be fun. No, it's actually, it is all of my living. This, this game. This game is literally what I do for a living. Uh, which is why I am desperately looking for other fucking things to play that people are interested in fuck- LOOK AT THIS! WHAT THE FUCK AM I PLAYING THIS SHIT FOR?! <laughs> for real! WHY DO I EVEN FUCKING BOTHER?! I'm like, oh, let's go down to tier 5. You know, legendary tier is always a piece of shit. Why not go down to tier 5? We'll have a little bit of fun. Jump in some fun battleships when you can actually still fucking make an impact. Nope! Ten fucking destroyers! Fan-fucking-tastic. You stupid fucking bullshit. Like, for real! Do you- how many fucking times do people have to fucking say just how stupidly broken the fucking destroyers are in this game? For Wargaming to actually get their head out of their fucking asses and do something about it. Other than a, ooh, it's a .2 kilometer detection nerf. Oh my god, if only you didn't give them a 3 kilometer fucking detection to begin with. Jesus. God. Why even try? What is the fucking point? I should just jump in a fucking overpowered destroyer and play every fucking game. I, I feel bad shooting at these fucking battleships right now. I shouldn't be shooting at battleships. Because they're in the same exact fucking boat I'm in. I'm literally out here with five fucking destroyers against me. They're out there with five destroyers against them. We're all just having a blast. Why, why should I shoot the fucking battleships? Oh, that's right, because nothing else is fucking spotted. Because they're all fucking invisible. This guy's not invisible. Hey, we hit him four times. I bet we took a whopping 2,000 damage off of him. Only 9,000 to go. I love this game. Wait for it! Broadside battleship! And... I did about as much damage as a single torpedo right there. <laughs> With a full broadside from American Armor Piercing. Yep. Hey, they got one. One dirt bag down. Four to go. Railguns, not quite. Ah, there we go. That feels better. That feels so much better. Tennessee out here, his name is Mr. Solo, he's... Gonna find out. We got the Yukikaze still out there, even though we've got a T-61, which is a sonar destroyer. Right fucking next to him. Ooh, look! A battleship! Blunk. What was Disco Elysium? It was some fucked up text-based piece of shit. I thought it was gonna be good. 
But uh, I didn't give it the time of day because all it did was waste my god dang time for like 20 fucking minutes. And I was like, yeah, this is boring to fucking play. Boy, if I could get off this fucking island. Oh, wait. Why would that be a thing? Hey, we killed something. I honestly thought we were on the edge of the island and we were going to keep going eventually, but clearly the game had other ideas. So I got to back up and turn and then try to get off this shit. I'm surprised I haven't been torped into fucking oblivion yet. Apparently all the destroyers spawned elsewhere. I've been torturing everybody else in the match instead of leaving me alone for once. Nassau is OP. Mayhan Torps Mayhan. Uh, checks out. Ooh, California. Ooh, Arizona. And I'm detected by a fucking invisible son of a bitch. Who to thunk it? Callie is bow tanking me. Bovoy is all the way over there. Got a Fabuki and a T61 here. We've almost got our guns turned. Bovoy and Eagle. Oh my... Did this guy forget that I exist? I've been spotted this whole god dang time. You deserve it, sir. You deserve everything. Why would he just keep... He was bow tanking me. I was spotted for the majority of this time because there's a mayhem nearby. And this man goes and goes full broadside to me. Like, at least make it difficult. Luckily, the Cali is thick. Yes, everything about this game makes me angry. It is a thing. I mean, don't you enjoy playing games against five destroyers? In a battleship? With no cruisers? Whatsoever? Doesn't it make your day? Sure does me. Let's see what happens this time, Kelly. Yep. Sounds about right. Oh, look! The destroyer's in the cap! Woo! Still waiting for the mayhem to just charge me down and ruin my life. So that I can overpin him to death. Oh, wait. That doesn't exist. Can I yoink the kill? Don't worry, I'll save the kill. Make turret critically damaged. Our team has taken the lead. Hey, look, there he is. Incoming YOLO rush. And I just burned my damage con. Woohoo! Torpedoes dead ahead. Uh, I thought he was coming in front of the island. Turn it! Turn it! Arizona, stop! Uh, please don't cause a flood. Please don't cause a flood. Please don't cause a flood. It fucking always causes a flood. Who am I, could, who am I to fucking say anything? It's always a flood. Always. Taking a fucking torp on the belt. The place that's designed to protect you against torpedoes. St yeah, of course. Hey, look, more torpedoes. Oh, they ran out! Get wrecked! Learn to play! Could you imagine fucking having all this power at your disposal? Nighty night! Another destroyer goes down to a torpedo. Wow, this got real fucking real, real quick. Real real. Almost too real, some would say. Flooding is so lovely, it gives you beautiful music. Weep, 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 weep. Hey, look, something to shoot at. Oh, yes, this is the French cruiser that's broken and gets smoke. Forgot about that. Or the French destroyer. Mm, bloink. 
Six penetrations from battleship guns on a ship that is smaller than the fucking shells that I shoot. And he is perfectly healthy. Hey, we actually kept our damage control, so fuck you, you little turd. Get some health back, and then we can survive another torpedo, potentially. Maybe, just a little bit. And he dies to another freaking torpedo. Isn't it great? You love to see it. Second on the team, a battleship in a five destroyer game gets second on the team. <laughs> 1776, baby. It was meant to be. America. America. All right, let's see. What what can we do, guys? What can we do to have fun? Let's see. Tier 5 is always fun. Let's uh, jump in. I know. I know what we can do to have fun, guys. Tier 6. Tier 6 is a lot of fun. They haven't done anything to completely screw over Tier 6 in a while. I'll even play something German for you guys. Look at this. This is a German cruiser. So I'll play it something German. It's tier six, which is great. I said America because it was 1776. If you don't understand that, then uh, you probably want to go back to school. Just say it. Ooh, no destroyers to worry about. A bunch of cruisers and a bunch of battleships. But they do have the Vesa. And the Vesa will absolutely fuck up my life. Armor-piercing bombs in this cruiser do not get along. Trust me. That is like the one thing that balances this thing, is a fucking carrier with armor-piercing bombs. What happened in 1776? Do they not teach history outside the U.S.? Seventeen seventy-six, July fourth, seventeen seventy-six. Start to ring a bell. Ooh, we're detected already. There's a. There's the How are we detected? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe a cruiser in... I, I, honestly, how the fuck are we detected right now? Oh, Belfast. Gotcha. Ooh, guaranteed fire right off the bat. Gotta love that. Just go ahead and put that out real quick. Yes, that's where I wanted to put my fucking auto-aim. Right in the dirt. Let's go ahead and load some armor piercing for this Leander, shall we? Sure he won't mind. Hello? Ooh, he's firing armor piercing back! It's the Battle of the Yorks, baby! Except one of us can actually hit the fucking target because not 210 millimeter guns. As I completely miss him for the same reason he missed me. Okay, we've got a Bayern over here. Can't see shit, so I might as well use one of my planes. There's the Belfast. There's the Bayern. All right, we'll just fire the guns. Oh, we can't fire over this? Are you serious? 
I thought these shots go to the moon before they freaking, uh, go anywhere. Surely we should be able to, to shoot over that. That's just a shame. So close, too. If only he was a little further back. Hey, we're radared. There you go. Let's see if we can create a little bit of distance and start shooting over this island at this Byron. Oh, never mind. Zara has appeared. Oh, he turned out. Dang it. All right, Colorado has appeared. And we get a fire on our first salvo at the Colorado. Did he extinguish a single fire? He did extinguish a single fire. That's a bad move. I'm not using EOP because I'm a German cruiser. We don't need EOP. We get all of the extra penetration on EA or on HE by ourselves. Don't need EOP to reduce the fire chance. Do 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 Dude. Hey, there it is. And a fire on the Belfast. This could hurt. He caught me right in the middle of a turn. You hate to see it. Yeah, that actually didn't feel as bad as I thought it was going to. Oh, are you double fired now, Colorado? Oh, you hate to see that. Man, if only you hadn't damage con that single fire. Ooh, somebody else that damage conned. Of course, he's a cruiser. He can get away with it. Balance! We have my gegnerischen Kreuzer versenkt. Boy, if this guy is able to lob this island, I'm going to have a real bad time. But I don't think he can. No, the castle's going to save him. And where is my fire, for God's sakes? Also, if this Byron decides to come at me, I'm going to torp him into fucking oblivion. Oh, wait, this is the Zara. Yes, Zara, please. Please. Over the island! Ah! Not quite. Hmm. I kind of want him to fire his guns at somebody else. I don't want to take a hit from a 15-inch gun from this close through the bow. Sneaky Torps. Saw him coming, but sneaky. D 
dear God. I have made mistakes in my life. I deserve to die for my transgressions. But I'm a cruiser, so I, I can't die. Yes! Fire your guns at them! Look at this! How is this balance, guys? Like, for real. For real. Double strike! <laughs> yeah, this this thing is the epitome of balance, guys. All the balance. You balance, we balance, all balance. Oh, I actually overturned into this. Oh, it didn't arm! Get fucked! Fuck you, carrier! Carrier, I would like a word with you, Mr. Carrier. Where do you guys think that, uh... Where do you guys think that the, um, Carrier could be hiding? Is he directly out... Or is he, like, further over where his team dominated that side? Also, Carrier's already dead. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. But y'all already knew that. <laughs> yeah, 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 I see it. Carrier dead. Hey, that Leander's still alive. Not for long. Yoink. All right. So yeah, uh, once again, showing that this thing is absolute balance. Uh, we, we got a double strike. We got a first blood, high cow, dev strike, 147k, four kills. One short of a Kraken, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah. Weimar, very, very balance. Very balanced. <laughs> the carrier died in nineteen or in seventeen seventy six. Gotcha. Ah, uh, what else should we play? Hmm. Let's go back down to tier 5. We already played the Arizona. I guess we could do a little bit of uh, Almost Heaven. West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountain. Shenandoah River. Life is old there. Older than the trees. Younger than the mountains. Blowing like a breeze, country road. Take me home to the place I belong. Begging for mod, never gonna get it. Take me home, country road. Hey, it's the same map again. That's another great feature of this game where no matter what you do, you get to play three maps a night. Whatever the three maps it chooses for you, that's what it is. There's three maps that you get to play for the day.
Missouri. I don't have the Missouri. It was on loan for a week. I don't have that kind of steel lying around. What do you think I am? Rich? You think I buy out all of the campaigns day one? No, thank you. Only a single destroyer and I'm in a battleship? What is this? I'll take it. Um, um, um. There's only like five maps in the whole game. Yeah. But what is it? Have you guys noticed that too or is it just me? Like no matter when you jump on, you get to play like three maps and that's it. It'll be the same rotation of three maps the entire time you play. And then you jump out, you come back in, you'll get three maps, and then those are the three maps that you play all night. Like, is that just me? Because I feel like that's a thing. Like, they they may be doing a better job of rotating those maps, but you still end up with like three maps. Oh, God. Fires the guns! Oh, please give it to me, game. Come on. Oh, we got one! We sit it out a light cruiser with a battleship. Oh, my, yes. Omaha, please. Please do it. I beg you, Omaha. Wait for it. Fire! Oh, that was awful dispersion. Awful dispersion. <laughs> Good God. Our Graf Spey is going to get torped into oblivion by this guy. And an American light cruiser at tier 4. Because he just didn't shoot his guns. The ship is on fire. All right, Omaha, you've lived long enough. It was cute. Goodbye. Yep, that feels about right. <laughs> get him second. Oh, I thought we were going to get the secondary kill. Thought we were going to get the close quarters. I'll go ahead and burn that. Should be good. Burn that damage, Con. Ooh. Ah. Uh, thank God that guy can't shoot. That could have hurt. Let's show him what real aiming is like. Oh, that's tight. Yep. That seemed pretty balanced. Honestly, the West Virginia isn't even unbalanced because you don't even need 16-inch guns at Tier 5 to overmatch. You only need 15-inch guns. And uh, the freaking West Virginia, while it does have good guns, it is very squishy. So it is pretty easily taken out by other battleships. Unless, of course, you go full broadside in front of them or make a big turn. This is questionable, New York. You have no camo. Wait for it. No Citadel, so he gets lucky. That should have been a Citadel. <laughs> that was pretty bad dispersion, so I guess we'll take it. Still smacked him. Is he going to continue his turn? Like, are you just going to sit broadside to me, buddy? What is it that Peek and him always say in their stream? That's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if... Oh my god, never mind. Ooh, Tennessee, I felt that in my loins. And now you shall. Ooh, yep. Yep, that's, yep, mm-hmm. I like how the game didn't want to auto-lock onto him, so I had to do it manually. Because light cruiser. And fires the guns! He's dead. He's GG's. Oh, that's right. He's a light cruiser. No Citadel for me. The ship is on fire. Come here, Tennessee. I would like a word. Clubunk. I'm not going to lie. This Dallas is slightly obnoxious. Oh, if only I had a way to overmatch your ass. Oh, wait, I do. Oof. That looked painful. I'm going to give you a colonoscopy. Oh, and all the shatters. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate.
Hold these, Dallas. Wow. You'd love to see that. Good. I don't have to shoot him after all. Overmatch? Yep. Still overmatch. Is he gonna die before I get another shot? Nope. S do I still overmatch? Ugh. One, maybe? That was an awful dispersion. Come on. Overmatch? Never mind. Fires win. Um, Dallas, New Mexico, and a battleship should be able to hold that side, right? Are they going to make me have to go all the way back? I probably should. Just to be on the safe side. Why is our Fabuki smoked up against a freaking battleship? I don't think he's going that fast. He's turning out as well. Got a couple hits on him. Surely they can kill that freaking Leon or like that that freaking London, right? Come on, baby. Damn, I just realized we're up over 200 people watching me just sit here like a goober. Hey, they got the London. Good. Good. Welcome to the stream, guys. It's been pretty fun so far. And by fun, I mean like the first three matches were absolutely abysmal. Oof. That Kirov got the worst RNG right there. You'll love to see it as a battleship captain. You'll love to see it. Alright, let's see. Two hits? Yep, two hits. Proceed to the base. You think? That should do it. Yoink! <laughs> oh. Oh, beautiful. For spacious skies. For amber waves of grain. For purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain. Nice America, America, Spartans lost his freaking mind. Playing battleships. Am I going to get in range to shoot this guy? Because it kind of looks like I'm about to. Come on, you can do it. I feel it. I feel it. Come on. 
Come on, game. Little closer. Little closer. Little closer. Fly me to the moon. Yes, turn towards me. Totally do that. Do that thing that you're doing. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what springs like on. Yoink! Oh, what? How did that not hit him at all? Really? Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. Fill my heart with song. Let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for. I can hit the Getty, but I can't hit the freaking Aoba. Really. All I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, I love you. Don't go out of the base, you big dummy. Please, please don't go out of the base. Five, four, stop the goddamn ship. <laughs> I've been in reverse for 10 minutes. Damn it. Frozen theme song. Ah. Uh, frozen theme song. I actually forget. It's not let it be. Is it let it snow? No, that's not right. Oh, that's right. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, that, that song. <laughs> Do a Spartan rap. I mean, we already saw the big, you know, me and me and rapping a uh, little bit of. Uh... Oh, there he is! Hold that thought. Got a murder. Confederate. And the destroyer refuses to fire his fucking gun. All he had to do, shoot the man. Just shoot him. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty wasting a round thing in your face, you get sprung. You wanna pull up tough, cause you notice that butt was stuffed. Deep in the jeans she's wearing. I'm hooked and I can't stop staring. Oh baby, I wanna get with you and take your picture. My homeboy tried to warn me, but that butt you got makes me so horny. Jijis, another 120k, high cow confederate, 2000 base XP, Mr. Jojo fishing up here, coming in clutch, holding the backside, defending the cap, GG's dude. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Uh, what haven't we played? For a little bit. Didn't somebody... Somebody requested a uh, hood video earlier, didn't they? Let's do that. Let's do a hood video. And by video, I mean in the stream. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait, no, no, no. No, 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 no. It don't put me straight into a match. Any other time, I'd be sitting in queue for at least 30 seconds. But because I accidentally forgot to take freaking... That... Ah... All right, if you don't know what I'm so upset about, it's the Big 7 perk. I have the Big 7 perk on my Azure Lane Nelson for uh, Nelson and Conqueror and Vanguard. And I always forget to switch it off for my other ships like Queen Elizabeth and Hood. So I'm going to have slow-ass turrets. Hey, look, we haven't seen this map today, right? <laughs> Telling you, man, you get three maps per login. Whatever those three maps are, those are your maps for that login. How old am I? I am 35. Just turned 35 last month, actually. I'm old. Let's get to it. Uh, 
Uh oh, we got a TLP guy up in here. We got a uh, the lid popper. If you guys don't know TLP is the lid poppers. Old school. World of Tanks console clan. Mm, they weren't very good. They were one of those big clans that everybody kind of laughs at. The original members were okay, but then they kind of left it and it got too big and it was just obnoxious. What part of Ohio do I live in? I live in uh, Perry County, Ohio. It's uh, southeastern central Ohio. Uh, Azuma is not a bad ship. It just gets easily removed from the match. So people don't like to play it. I feel you, Matt. But I feel old, man. Why do you think I'm doing all these push-ups? I feel like crap. Humans live 150 years? Not where I'm from. Average lifespan is 72. Over the mountain and through the woods to grandmother's house in North Carolina. One overpin. Really? Also, got detected for a... Ah, there he is. That explains it. It's the Russian Hipper. But it's a tier six. Ow. All right, we're going to have to uh, think twice about this approach. Since somebody over there touched us. I'm the one that gets Citadel, and the Wichita is the one turning around. I'm just coming out here to get away from the fire spammer and potentially spot the Talin if he comes around the corner. Like that. Where even is that going, game? Can you explain that to me? Like, where even did that shell go? I am a fan of this music. Oh, nice. Appreciate that, man. Glad you enjoy. Did you hear my comment about the, the lid poppers? I'm assuming that you know TLP. Probably for the best. <laughs> All right, so, uh, Mr. Wichita, uh, what are you doing with your life? Well, we lost our Suja by dev strike from an Amagi at like max range. Somebody's got the stream on in the background and it's coming through the mic. If you could turn that down, I'd appreciate it. Do me good, Hood, please. I don't ask a lot. Give it to me. Double fired immediately. 
fantastic. Fire. Dude, I love getting set on fire by cruisers, forcing me to turn to try to get shots on them, and then taking citadels from battleships. Love it. Right, give him another fire. And another fire. double fire. Fantastic. You'd love to see it. Well, this is a quick, quick game. And that Amagi is going to shoot me, because... reasons? I'm a dead man. Yay! So much fun. Alright. The hood, guys. So much fun. Yeah, GG's, man. Glad you enjoy what I do. This was not a good game for me. I never had a chance to do anything. I moved up, I took like a third of my health before I even got to shoot at anything really. And uh, the, those, two bat or those two cruisers out there that I punched one in the mouth early, they uh, just sat out there and burned me down. And every time I turned out for them I got caught by the battleships that were sitting mid because all of our battleships are hiding in the back of the map. Yeah, you got this Leon sitting all the way at the back. He's he's learning how to play the Jean Bart. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna excel. Well, good luck. Bring out the Massachusetts! Come on, guys! Come on, man! You gonna make me play a tier 7, which is gonna inevitably lead to me facing Shimas and, and Clabers? I'm calling it. I'm already calling it. I will do the Massachusetts. You know this. I don't have a problem. But I'm calling it. It's gonna be a legendary match, and it's gonna be up against a Clabear and a Shima. If not multiple Clabears and Shimas. Massachusetts. Vladivostok. I might jump in Vladdy later. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the map, guys. It's new. It's a new map. It's not one of the three we've already previously played. Holy mother of god. And it's not a legendary match. And... There's no Club Error or Shima on the enemy team. There's not even another destroyer. Holy shit. I didn't think this was possible. <laughs> what is this black magic? I've, I've never seen this before. Vladivostok is easy to kill if you get its broadside. Or if you're a fire spammer. Or if you have torpedoes. But if you get none of those and you're in a battleship that's not a fire spammer or have torpedoes, not so easy to get rid of, especially at close ranges. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those prices rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Roll back. Old school Walmart commercials. Rear turret of justice, please make it over that island. You did. Okay. What are the odds one of those finds the hell in a citadel? Yes! The prayer has been answered. <laughs> What's up, Keith? Those people...
people that watched at the very beginning of the stream are probably like, I am the most, like, w like strange person on the planet. Like, I am full on, like, what, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the, uh, bipolar, that's the word. I am the most bipolar person on the planet. I am either extremely upset or I am giggling like a schoolgirl. There's no balance in between. Also, love that I'm spotted by a fighter plane on the backside of a fucking island. I know there's a Helena, I know there's a Wichita, and I know there's a Peter Bag over here. None of which I am particularly afraid of. But together, if they combine their forces, they, they produce something called Captain Rage Machine. That's, that's the word I came up with right then. Come on, fire your guns, little cruisers. Also, Wichita is going to get introduced to... Never mind. Spartan's about to get to shoot something. Wouldn't want that. Hello, Wichita. Fancy meeting you here. Wait for it. What, did I really expect a Citadel of Wichita that's sailing broadside to me with a battleship? Of course not. That's crazy talk. Nobody would ever expect that. So we got two battleships pushing, or no, that's a battleship and a cruiser pushing towards us with a second battleship. Got a bunch of fire spammers waiting for me to come around the corner, so I don't feel like I want to take that just yet. Our turpits would probably appreciate it, though. Checks out. 16 inch armor piercing versus tier 6 battleship. Also known as the tankiest battleship in the damn game for no reason. Sharnhorst. But the secondaries are working. Yes, please turn broadside. Do that. Excuse me? God, that's obnoxious. We didn't get two hits though. Of course I'm the one spotting him. Helena's there. Peter Bag's up there. So we're not going to have to worry about torpedoes from anybody except this Sharnhorst. Who is outside his torpedo range. And sailing broadside to 16 inch American armor piercing. Let me turn broadside for him. Let's see what those little tiny 283 millimeter guns got. Ah, oh, yes. That's what I was talking about. Get him, secondaries. Show him who's boss. Yes, look at that 5,000 damage that man just put. Oh, we destroyed his torpedo tubes. Oh, the humanity. Also, Wichita. You seem to be uh, asking to die. I 
I wonder what this guy could be doing with his shard horse at 4.7 kilometers going broadside. Going back to port? That's what. I'm gonna take torpedoes here, because he got way too close, but maybe I'll get lucky and he screwed it up. The ship is on fire. He did. Thank God. Thank God for potatoes. This Alabama looks promising. Oh, the Peter bag's back. Nice. Problem solved, sir. As soon as I get a chance to shoot at him, I will. But uh, let's wait for it. That was a decent hit. How's my team losing over here? Massachusetts lost all of his health. Turpitz died. Alabama still basically bro sailing broadside to me. Oof. Oof. As soon as I saw that dispersion, I was feeling pretty good about it. Yes, turn all the way back around so that I can do it to the other side of your ship. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Wait for it. Why would I get a Citadel? Why? I mean, he just came out of a turn. He's basically right back to being broadside. Hey, there he goes. Do, 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 do. We've got the points lead. We don't have to do anything crazy. This Peter bag can't run forever. Come on, Peter bag. Just fight me like a man. Our victory is in sight. About to hit another heel. Peter Bag, where are you? You are being a very, very naughty. I love that that fucking plane is still flying after all this time. When is it going to run out of fuel and die so that we can actually fucking not be spotted coming around the corner where this guy is going to inevitably torp me? They're in the Charlie cap. We have a 400 point advantage. Our Richelieu is appearing to go crazy mode. Will he get the ram? Hello, Peter! Peter Bag! Oh, there you are! How convenient! How did I know that was coming? Ah, it's okay, though. I knew I was gonna get torped. <laughs> this guy's gonna end up killing me. Because he's gonna inevitably get, like, a triple fire on me with the next salvo of HE he shoots. Luckily, we get another heal here. Ooh, go, go, go home. Go home. Enemy cruiser sunk. I wonder if he torped from the other side of his ship, guys. Let's turn left really, really hard and find out as they miss, as they miss us. Do you think he torped? I think he torped.
What are the battleships? Bismarck and Alabama both have two kills, so they've both been in some sort of a fight. We still have a huge advantage in points, so we don't actually have to engage with our 20,000 hit points. Probably be for the best if I don't engage. But I don't think I'm going to have time to get close enough to engage them anyway. I just realized we got 142,000 damage. Not bad. Damn, we're up to 275 people watching right now. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by and watching me complain about everything. Appreciate you. Don't forget, tomorrow's the actual assault ration. This was kind of an impromptu thing, where I started a game that I knew nothing about, and then I got bored of it, and I was like, what can we do? Let's just do Legends. Splitgate, huh? I've seen it, but I don't know. GG's. Nice work. GG's. Yeah, punch that like button for me. Like Daniel says. Appreciate you guys. Dreadnought, 142k, second on the leaderboard, only to the tier 6, not at all slightly overpowered Vimar. Coming in top of the leaderboard. The fact that he died, I mean, good lord. All right, uh, let's go back to port. Somebody did mention that they wanted me to take out the Vladivostok. Which means I will inevitably go up against three Yamatos who will have the greatest dispersion on the planet. Can you do a carrier? No, absolutely not. I, I refuse to play carriers. For the same reason I refuse to play Kleber. We got another... Guys, we got another new map! Hey, Shima, Kleber, yummy, yummy, yummy. I called it three yummies. <laughs> In a division, we got uh, Mr. Casual Stingray over here trying to stream snipe. Yo, XP Machine coming in with the $5 New Zealand Super Sticker. Wow. Appreciate it, dude. Thanks for the dono. Hmm. Let's go to the right. I'm sure that absolutely nothing horrible will happen to us if we go to the right. Oh, what's that? Our spotter is running away from the right? Going fully broadside in a ship that is known for being dev-struck at the beginning of a match is terrifying. I'm hoping I don't get detected by a destroyer going into the center cap right at the beginning of the match. But I probably will, which is why I'm going to not just stop broadside like a lot of people do, and I'm going to continue the turn all the way back out so that I'm angled. Hey, look, I'm detected. Who could have saw that coming? Wait for it. Triple yummies. Where are you? I know you're there. Ooh, hello, Peter. Love that. Don't you guys love that? He turned out, so that might actually be a decent... Uh, never mind. Never mind. Those were ten miles apart by the time they got to him. Ooh, I'm going to get rammed by a teammate. There we go. At first, I thought he was turning out into a dev strike, because that would have been hilarious. But, uh, yeah, those those rounds just went completely AWOL by the time they got to him. I'm 
battleship. Can you not run into me a second time, please? Can you change your fucking direction? Hold these, Peter. And by hold these, I mean just vaguely watch them as they go past your ship. Hey, we found all three of the Yamis, guys. So there's that. Also, Peter Bag shooting AP at my broadside. At 16 kilometers. Oh, nice. Sneaky freaking torpedoes from Ashima, I'm guessing. Yeah, there you go. You love to see that. Single torpedo, third of my health gone. Balance. Teammates, I need your support in my destroyer in the cap against three Yamis. Meanwhile, you're getting wrecked by a fucking destroyer behind you. Please, get here sooner. No shit. I love how it says I have a shot, and then it's like, no, you don't. Do I or don't I? It looks good. Nope. Apparently not. I am a dead man. Unless these Yamis are completely and utterly hopeless, I'm a dead man. Oh my god. Well, we'll just chalk that up to RNG not saying fuck me for once. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll just turn around and leave this side. And down goes the enemy Shima, which is good. Come on, give me the shot. Give me the shot. Luckily, somebody else just touched him, so I don't need to shoot at him now. And apparently, they managed to knock out his engine and slow him down so that I couldn't hit him. Love that as well. It's one of my favorite things about this game. And then you got this guy coming in to do the same thing. He's like, anything you can do, I can do better! I should have shot at the lower health guy, but he was burning and I thought he was going to die, but... Somebody's getting some good RNG and it's not me. Yeah, definitely should have shot that guy. Clearly. Then again, this guy has come out just fucking begging for it if the game decides to actually let me hit him. But why would it do that? Yes. Report that target's position. That checks out. Ooh, that's the salvo I need. Wait for it. No citadel. 
Unfortunate. Real unfortunate. I mean, the Georgia is literally begging for it, game. The least you could do is oblige him. One of these days, the game is gonna allow me to hit the freaking target and score a Citadel, and this broadside Yami would be a good place to start. Maybe? A little bit? Possibly? Nah. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Why would I ever score a Citadel on a broadside Yami? Ah, there you go. That was a nice hit. Love to see it. Yep. That's the dispersion you want to see right there. The kind that just goes kind of everywhere. Oh, but look at his dispersion. Oh, and he knocks out my gun. Fantastic. <sighs> what are the odds that this one is the one that allows me to citadel him? I mean, we're 11 kilometers away now, right? Surely this can penetrate. No. Why would it? Why would that be a thing? Ah, oh, but the Georgia can citadel him because American. Hey, look, it's Colbert. Ooh, hey, well. You know you love to see destroyers pop up and disappear immediately. Goodbye. I got a kill! I got a kill in a Russian battleship. I'm goaded. Thanks, Christian. Appreciate that. Ah, it, it fell 30 yards short. There we go. That was a good hit. Are we going to hit 300? We're at 302, folks. 300 Spartans watching the chat or watching the game right now. Jijis. Yes, I do. I do occasionally look. I am really salty all the time, Sledge. But, to be fair, it is kind of difficult to pay attention to chat and play the game. We didn't even come bottom. Casual. Get wrecked, dude. Get good, casual. Just saying. Look at that. You're in the American Georgia and you came lower than me and a Vladdy. Get good. Get good. Oh, what do we got now? Uh, Yami and Georgia broadside on. Come on, Russian bias. Yeah, we don't get Russian bias. Everybody else gets Russian bias. Ooh, Jean Bert. Shall we take out a French battleship? Let's do it. Play a ship that I think is the worst in the game. I don't want to play Bismarck tonight. <laughs> Uh, think they will bring the Georgia back as a global code ship? Hmm, doubtful. Maybe. Who knows? Right, Fletcher, Mass, and Akotsky. Iowa, Lexington, Massachusetts, Jumbert. Okay. Casual, in here again. Back-to-back -back games. At least he's on my team. Of course, I'm going to need you to do better in the Iowa than you did in the uh, last match, is all I'm saying. Throwing that shade at you, casual. Throwing the shade. <sighs> this is a terrible friggin' map. Does anybody like this map? I don't think anybody does. This map is terrible. Doesn't really matter what you do. It's just like, this map is awful. I'm going to try to push forward, but it's going to lead to my inevitable demise. 
But if it works, it could be great. We got a Kagero and a Jervis, and oh my god. I think I will. Reload, booster! Oh my, that's gonna hurt, Iowa. That's gonna hurt. Yes, turn in. You don't get citadel unfortunately, but that should have been hurting. Oh, dear God. How many people are sailing broadside to us right now? So that didn't go as well as we'd hoped. We do have this turpits out here, though. you love to see. We have a torp bomber coming in from the carrier right off the bat. Oof. Can't shoot him, so Massachusetts. How about the Jean Burr? days Fletcher or just one hi Odin fancy meeting you here oh my god that dispersion I don't like my positioning right now Come to think of it. Can we get moving in reverse, please? Preferably before I get dev struck. Isn't this your normal speed, like normal gear? Come on. Five ricochets? I've got French magic bullets. You can't do this to me. Yes, continue your turn. Please. Oh my god. Hello? Oh, that was a better. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Boost the motor deactivated. Do I no longer have a shot? That's a shame. Guess I'll have to move now. Iowa trying to die? Hello? I mean, he would be if, if my shells would actually go where I fucking shoot them, rather than trying to go into the island after he fucking beaches himself. Look at him look away. He's like, if I turn my guns, he can't knock them out. Oh no, he's just shooting at somebody else. What is this Iowa doing? Is his name Austin Powers? Jesus, what is this dispersion? For God's sakes, he's only eight kilometers from me, John Bart. You are allowed to hit the man. Also, hello, Odin. Guess who I can hit again?
Uh, casual. I do applaud your bravery, but, uh, you may want to just stop. You're gonna find yourself with battleships on all sides of your ship. It's very hard to angle against that. My controller batteries are low. You know, that's unfortunate. Especially considering I'm about to be in a fight for my life. Knocked out one of his turrets temporarily. Casual. You are in reverse. I don't know what your uh, will to rebuild range is, but you might want to be... Okay. Duly noted. Alright, game. Alright. I get it. Destroyed one of his guns. Come on, 12 seconds, I get a heal back. Let's see how it works out for him. Nice! We get a, a gun destroyed. You'll love to see it. Three, two, one. It misses! At three kilometers, it just straight misses him. Right. Mm-hmm. Duly noted. I have one gun left, and at three kilometers from a broadside ship that is 900 feet fucking long, the shells all decide to not hit him. Speechless. Absolutely speechless. <sighs> the the most like the most fun thing for me about this entire match is that I have a hundred and forty two thousand damage and this game isn't even close. I stew on that for a minute. What does that tell you about the rest of my team? 145,000 damage because the secondaries started a fire. And the game is not even close. Christopher Hill coming in with a $10 dono. Please don't play the Florida. Play Queen Elizabeth. Much better ship. Pitching in for more salt. Appreciate it, Christopher. Thanks for the dono, man. I kind of want to see this guy die.
Come on, fellas, hit this guy so that we can get our ship back. End his entire existence. That's better. And that torpedo actually looks pretty solid, considering it was launched from so far away. Yeah, nice hit. That was, that was actually pretty impressive. That man hit that torpedo from so far away. It was actually hilarious. All right, we're not going to sit here and watch this. Back to port. Ah, uh, let's see. I already played the Yami. The very first match, I think. Wasn't it the first match? It was one of the first three matches. It was one of the abysmal ones. It's full of salt. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely check that one out. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of want to play the Florida just because somebody said don't play it. But we'll go with Queen Elizabeth since he asked for it. $10 dono. Queen Elizabeth. Let's go. There it is. All right. Now... Don't forget to switch that frick. Oh, wrong thing. Don't forget to switch the freaking Big 7 over... Oh, gyrating robots. We're good. I don't remember when I switched it, but good. The Weimar burned down my Grossa Kerr first in less than two minutes, and I hit the man with over 60 shells and did less than 10k to him. I'm calling some bullshit. Either you have terrible damage control... Like, seriously, 100,000 damage possible plus your heal. Like, you shouldn't die in two minutes to a Vimar, a single Vimar. And also, you did not hit a Vimar with 60 shells and only do 10k. Unless you're counting your secondaries, in which case I guess I could, argue, I could see that. Barry, we'll just call you Barry. <laughs> Thank you for the $10 dono. Let's see you rage like you used to. We're here for entertainment. Hey, I've already raged plenty. I've raged more in the first three games than most people wanted to see, probably. But, you know, is what it is. We also have three destroyers, T-22, Eagle, and Podvoisky. I'm just not scared of any of those. Uh, Eagle, potentially, but not really. And then the battleships are, yeah, the usuals. All right, this could be fun. We need more rage. <laughs> oh, look, the worst bite. Oh, look, the Tennessee. Oh, look, another battleship. Another Tennessee. Can we look at the guy? Thank you. Oh, hello, Leander. Oh, my God. We just hit that man for 12 grand. I'm going to get smashed by this war spite making this turn. And I deserve to be smashed for it. That's kind of what I figured. Hello, Podvoisky. I had a feeling there was a destroyer here. Look at that. I, we got away with the turn, too. That that fi that uh, war spite did not shoot us for some reason. I will not give him the same courtesy that he just gave me. Enemy Wait for it. Yeah, I'm not going to give you the same courtesy you gave me, war spite. Alright, let's aim for a nice drop shot into a superstructure, shall we? Enemy destroyer sighted. Eh, didn't give me the result I was looking for. Hey look, the Podvoisky's back. Can we hit him with more than two shells this time?
No, we hit him with one shell this time. And we lost our, uh... Battleship. Nice. Still a lot of battleships out there. I'm still detected by their Podvoisky. Our T-22 is hiding in a smoke screen. The worst spite is healing, so we probably ought to get rid of him, if we can. Can't really see him. Question mark? That looks pretty good. Uh, his look pretty good, too. His look real good, actually. Okay, we're good. And of course, our T-22 goes down to the Podvoisky. Hey, Podvoisky! Hold these! Or not! I was, I was joking. I didn't want you to hold them. You don't have soft hands. You can't hold it. These guys are being kind of disrespectful out here, sailing all broadside to me and everything. Not gonna lie. Of course, if my shit keeps hitting for nothing... Come on, Queen. Get rid of your cousin. What is that dispersion? It's all horizontal, but come on. I don't think I've ever seen my shot get this bad a dispersion in a freaking Queen. Ooh, that's tight dispersion. That could hurt if he aimed it well. Yeah, that was a good hit. Our team has taken the this lead. man has healed like half his health back because I refused to finish him when I had a chance. And my ship is just like, nah, we're just going to keep playing with this guy. Oof, this could hurt. Yeah. Hey, a Tennessee, would you like to get into the fight at some point? I know it's it's cozy back there in the back of the map, but uh, if you could like move up and take some hits with me, I'd appreciate it. Yes. Yes, I will do that. I will definitely get back and join you on the back line and being completely useless. Appreciate it. War Spike comes out, goes full broadside. DeGraw just got dev struck. That was a better hit, but not good enough. Ah, the infamous double fire. You love to see it. Don't worry, guy. I am solo versus this entire battleship division. I will be fine. My teammates are capturing the base. This is a win. These guys are going to continue to focus me with their entire willpower. I just got another heal, so I should be okay. 
for the moment. Let's see if we can get rid of this war spite once and for all. Oh, we forgot! No! Oh god. I about dropped my thing. Hold that thought. God dang it! Get out of my way! Damn it! I got the batteries back in just in time to die. Not like this! Oh well. These guys should easily win this. No thanks to the fucking amazing teammate behind me in the Tennessee. Or the Fabuki. That's all the way in the corner of the map. That has chased that guy all the way around the map. Alright. All right, now we're back. That's a shame that that's what we ended up with for a freaking Queen Elizabeth match. That was garbage. Bunch of fucking pansy-ass battleships sailing away from the fucking fight the entire game. There's four of them versus me, and they are all just like running away like a bunch of little bitches. Meanwhile, my Tennessee is hiding at 20 kilometers, unable to shoot anything, telling me, Get back! Get back, Spartan! Just get back! Hmm. Ooh. Could go gut Dunky. We haven't played Dunky in a while. Meh. Let's go back for some more American firepower. Hmm. Could go Atlanta. Indianapolis. Colorado. Ah, let's go North Carolina. I love the I love the Queen Elizabeth, man. She's a tough old broad. Especially with my build. God, why is this thing being such a bitch? There we go. That's better. Greece, uh, tier seven match. Nice, love to see it. Two, three ships that overmatch us. Oh, they also have a Weimar. Fantastic. Yeah, North Carolina has sixteen-inch guns. Good old sixteen-inch forty-five calibers. Do, 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 do. Battle starts. We're going to make a bad turn right off the bat and hope to God that we don't get spotted early and shot. What's up, Asif? Appreciate you, man. What's up, Keep? And we didn't get spotted, so that's good. Only one destroyer, so maybe the destroyer's at A. Our Helena's running away, which is not preferable. I don't have the range to shoot him. Ah! The downside of the freaking... Okay, so... Either a cruiser or a uh, destroyer is here. 
He just went behind that island. It's the one downside of the North Carolina. I don't have any fucking range. I got 17.75 kilometers of range on this thing. I'm gonna get smacked by that. I mean, he shouldn't be able to reach me from there. I mean, he could if he's full range build, but... Their destroyer's right here. Go figure. If only I had an Otago that could find this destroyer. Could you imagine? I've almost got a shot at a North or a New Orleans, so this could be fun. Hello, New Orleans. Defended the cap, but did no damage. Really. I had, a, I had a feeling there'd be some torpedoes coming around this island. Torpedoes, direct front. Just had a feeling in my loin. You ever get those? You ever get those feelings in your loin? This New Orleans probably got a feeling in his loin. Oh, he just happens to go into reverse the moment I go to shoot. Fantastic. Bad fucking-tastic. God dang it. Boy, it's a fun match so far, isn't it, guys? This guy's a fucking professional. My shells are going everywhere but his ship. And the Sakatsuki, yet yeah, there's the Torps. Ashitaka's about to get dev struck. Torpedoes, direct front. To be expected. I love that this Otago is going all the way around the back side of the island instead of just coming over towards here to help deal with the destroyer. Alright, New Orleans. You got away with it once. Go back to port. You've had enough fun. Still didn't give me a citadel. All right, Akatsuki ought to be about done with his uh, torpedoes. His Balti seems to be wanting to die. Go ahead and change course. Balti should be dead. That was the me scooting the mic, not me farting, I promise. Can't 
What's up, Shadow? Still got this Akatsuki out here. Surprised I haven't seen any more torpedoes from him. It's been a real boring match. Their entire team ran away from me. Torpedoes, direct front. Yeah, there they are. Where's the third set? That's only two sets. Where's the other set? Also, I'm going to make this Iowa feel some type of way if I can get into friggin' range. I wish should be dead. Boy, could you imagine being as useful for your team as this Akatsuki has been for his? To or this Otago? To not gonna lie, was not expecting him to be back there. Now, of course, we take all three of them. Again, this Otago, so useful. All the use. Isn't it so, so good to have ships be completely invisible, but yet have the ability to dev strike you at any moment? So much fun. It takes so much skill. Look at this man. Just torp after torp after torp because it's Zakotsky. He's allowed to re he's, a he's allowed to reload his torpedoes every fucking 50 seconds. It's only a triple launcher of tactical nukes. I don't see the problem. Fucking little pansy ass bitch. Spends the entire game trying to torp me. Literally does nothing to help his team. Ends up getting a kill on an Ashitaka because why not? Hey, look who lit up! How's it going? Ooh, that looked like it hurt. I'm not gonna lie, that, that actually looked like you tickled uh, just a little bit. Did I tickle your sphincter? Imagine being this useless. The entire game spent trying to kill one person and you failed. Ah, there he is. And the game ends before I get loaded to finish him off. Wow, what an amazing... Look, he got top of his team. He was so helpful for his team. He was so helpful. He didn't capture a single base. He didn't do anything but try to torp me the entire game. He gets one dev strike on an Ashitaka, and that makes him top of his team. So what does that tell you if you're any of these guys? Gotta love it. There was no damage for me to be had in that one. That was boring as hell. Hmm. Go back up to legendary. What up, JR? Have I been to Battleship Co. in Fall River, Massachusetts? No, I have not. I have only ever been to two battleships, and that is USS Wisconsin in Norfolk, Virginia, and USS New Jersey in uh, Camden, New Jersey. Oh, three, 
We got Shima Shima Gearing. We got Worcester. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. I just played Hood not that long ago. It was a shitty match. Got absolutely obliterated. Didn't get any any anything in that match, actually. What was it? 20,000 damage, I think? Hey, we're located. And that'll do it. All right, so we are going to put these torpedoes right there, right there, and right there. Calm down, Yami. Hey, Spartan. Hi, Spartan. How's it going, man? Shalom. What's up, Spartan? I'm on your team, Bubba. I'm watching you stream if you can hear me. What's up? Why? Why is this not working? Help! Help me! I'm not allowed to talk to strangers, apparently. Hey, for those of you who are in this match that are talking to me, I don't know why, but the game is not allowing me to use voice chat. So, apologize. I'm watching your stream right now, Spartan. Well, hello. Since you're watching the stream, you can hear me. But uh, I can't use voice chat. Hey, look. Hey Spartan. Uh, I can't use voice chat. I, I set your boy. I uh top your boy. Let him peek the other day. <laughs> Noise. <laughs> Send him back to port. I'm surprised. These guys are playing the long game. There is a destroyer out here on the left, by the way. So keep that in mind. I was expecting them to be a little bit more, you know, proactive, but. They are clearly not. Watch this torp. GK, bye bye. Bye bye, Mr. GK. Oh god. That's not preferable. How's that for calculated, huh? Surely he won't survive all those torpedoes. Alright. I was gonna say, surely he won't survive all those torpedoes. I have done the world a good service today.
Yoink! Surely those three battleships and the uh, cruiser can handle one Shima. Imagine being this guy hiding in the back in the Yami the entire game. Eek. Oh, it's a Worcester. Very nice. You hate to see it. You just, you just hate to see it. That Worcester just had 30 torpedoes sent in his direction. 30 demon fish. And he's in reverse. Big surprise. Bye bye, Mr. Monarch. And he's in reverse. Big surprise. And goodbye, Monarch. Boy, it's a fun game. How long are you going to be streaming? I have no idea how much longer I'm going to stream. Till I get tired, probably. Uh, and I'm going to have to stream snipe you a couple more times then. Do, 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 do. Damage in the shot. I've got twelve. I'm winning. I, I sent you a couple of videos before too. Me twice. I know you be busy though. We'll try to get this. He don't ever still. answer anyone. No, he don't. I'm gonna get this Worcester. Worcester I I'd be like, GG Spartan. I, I would I would answer, but again, I do not have the ability to talk in chat right now. The game is being stupid. So, uh, GG's. Oof, down goes that Shima. Well, that Yami had fun. I'm about to be rushed by a Worcester, oh, no. which is less than ideal. Fifty-seven. Oh, there you go. He radar me. Got to go. Oh, this asshole. Forty seconds. He's just a rooster whoop, Spartan. Don't get in the gunboat. I got him with one torque. Sonar now. If I destroy this guy with citadels, I'm going to laugh my ass off. I know, I should have. Oh, Spartan, he's getting you. Run, Spartan, run. Oh, he's 
Oh, Spartan got some shit up his sleeve for him. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice, dude. That was Get nice. Spartan. She just. Not gonna lie, it is kind of nice having these guys cheering me on. <laughs> you guys can't hear them, but I can hear them. I'm like, I'm like, we did. I looked at Spark, and Spark looked at me. I said, we did. This guy's behind us, by the way. Still. <laughs> Gross occur first. In the whole game, bro. Look at his name, Cheap Shot. <laughs> oh, you guys can hear him? Shouldn't be able to hear him. Yeah. Oh, well, at least you guys get to enjoy it too. Yeah, we can hear each other. You just can't speak, Spartan. I can't speak. I can't speak. This guy's seriously gonna run. I can hear him through the stream, though. Oh, I'm trying to. Spark got four kills. What? Yeah, he's running to the uh, the edge Wait, of the map right 58? now. Oh, he been elves. <laughs> okay. I, I don't have shit for damage, but by golly, I can fuck some shit up. I'll yoink the shit out of everybody. GG's! Two thousand four hundred and seventeen base XP, top of the leaderboard, fifty-eight thousand damage done. This fella had over a hundred thousand damage, got second. Just say it. Sometimes it's better to do your job in a destroyer, and it is rewarding. But no, nah, seriously, GG's to uh, Guwap over there. Uh, also, uh, Vincible was talking in the Stalingrad, so GG's. Good team. It was a fun one. Didn't do much damage, but sometimes it's not about damage. Sometimes it's about being in the right place at the right time to do the, the right thing. Yoinking the shit. Exactly. Gotta get it. Gotta get, get. Gotta get, get. Gotta get, 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 get. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta get, get. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, gosh. What have we not played for a while? So many ships to choose from. Actually, I know I know a ship we can play. Oh, I know a ship we can play right now. All the stream snipers losing their mind right now because I keep changing my mind. Yo, Hustle! Yes, Ian. If folks haven't checked out Hustle, make sure you go check him out. Dude's a beast. Dude is a beast. He's also a badass person. And also the one that put me up to the push-ups challenge. It's his fault. It's his fault! Gotta get, get. Gotta get, get. Yudachi, Yudachi Z23. Uh, Ouch. So you still have fallen? I heard, uh, what's his face left? Hello? Moon. Did he really? Oh, really? Well, why? This guy's talking to somebody else that I can't hear. Also, why the hell is my voice chat not working? Hello? Still not working. Fuck it. We're back in Greece. 
and it's a tier seven match, and we've got literally everything in this game that wants to kill us, including a Parsifal that will wreck our face. I get a lot of people with mics, but most of them you do not want to hear. Because they're almost always people that are talking to somebody else or singing or sounds like they've got a freaking kid in the room and uh, they've got a tin can that they talk through. And Good news is I'm about to get torpedoed by a tier 7 carrier right at the beginning of the match. I can fail it. Ooh, a Nelson. Hello, Nelson. I don't overmatch you, but I can at least touch you. Maybe I'll get lucky. Well, we got a thousand damage. Hi, Siegfried, how are you? Wouldn't suppose you would want to get citadel Probably not. You've got bigger guns than me. It's not very... It's not fair. And he knocks out one of my turrets. Fantastic. Good thing I got three spares. <sighs> Ooh. Somebody touched him. Goodbye. Or not. That's that's a thing. I forgot. I've got little baby guns. Little baby guns. Oh, here we go. Time to get AP bombed. Wait for it. Boom! There we go. That felt good. That's what I've been waiting for. Right there. Good news is I shot down one of them. Oh, make that two more. Really teaching this guy a lesson. Boom! Yes, do it to me again, baby. You can do it. I think I better switch to HE. Come on, you can do it. You've only citadel me twice. You could do it a third time. Oh, there's the fire. You love to see that. Oh, man. Yeah, I hate to see that, though. Boy, this is fun. This is a lot of fun. I hit him! I goaded! <laughs> Luckily, he gets an immediate fire, and there's some more torpedoes. Yay. Am I going to survive? Nope. Nope. Well, that was fun. D did you guys enjoy that as much as I did? I really enjoyed that match. It's a lot of fun when everybody in the entire lobby focuses you and uh, you're in a low tier piece of shit like the Leon that has no ability to do any damage for some reason, even though I've had ridiculously good games in it in the past. But for whatever reason, in this lobby, it didn't want to do anything. Broadside cruiser. I did hit the destroyer, so I guess I give that. Hmm. Let's go with the uh, Imperator Nikolai. That'll be fun. What's the range? 16.4. Probably definitely want to keep that one then. I, yeah, I, I lost literally half of my health to the carrier. Uh, because balance 
And then, of course, fires from the destroyers sitting in a smoke screen because I'm spotted forever because of the carrier. Um, the Richelieu was sh shooting at me. The, the Yeah, just everybody. The usual. The usual. Nothing uncommon. Favorite tier 5 premium? Probably Arizona for me. That ship is absolutely amazing. We're top tier. No, we're not. We're a tier 4 in a tier 5 lobby. But I'm in the freaking Imperator Nikolai, so it's basically a tier 5. I don't mind being bottom tier in, an Imp and in a Nikolai. In a Nikolai. They do have a Getty and a Jaguar. Little Jaguar. What are the odds that destroyer spawns and comes out this this way? I'm hoping that it doesn't, but what are the odds? You want me to play the Mutsu? Why? Why would you want me to play the Mutsu? Also, Britannia, can you, like, go broadside for me? Ooh, who's this? A French battleship in reverse? An American battleship in reverse? Look at that dispersion. Mm. Yep. Oh, hello, Iron Duke. That could that could definitely hurt. Let me turn in. There we go. We got both of our destroyers over here. They've got one of theirs. I really don't want to make this turn out, but uh, the Subra doesn't want to spot that destroyer, uh, which could actually wreck his day. Of course he disappears right as I get loaded. Why wouldn't he? Hi, Iron Duke! Of course he disappears right as I get, like, to look at him. What's the other one? A Jaguar. Alright, Britannia has decided to go full broadside. Iron Duke just overmatched me or something. I don't know what that happened. Of course. I <sighs> love this game. So balance. So balance. Iron Duke, you are really obnoxious, I'm not gonna lie. I really wish the game would let me do to you what should be done to you. Are you fucking kidding me? Hits me with a single shell, gets a fucking fire. At least he stopped shooting at me. That's nice of him. Ah, that's better. I can get rid of this guy. 
I think we might actually be able to pull this off. Of course, he disappears. Hello, New York. I didn't forget about you, buddy. Oh, dear God. Um, chat. Stopping for real? Who does this? What's up, Elder? How's it going? Well, I wonder where I. Is he going again or is he stopping? Make up my damn mind, Fuso! Ugh. I know that sniping is not this thing's forte, but at least hit the damn thing. I think I need to, uh... Don't shoot me, please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me. And down goes the Leander. And apparently we missed every one of those shots for reasons. They did lose their Iron Duke. Mm. This is not going well. This is what you call not preferable. We can get turned away and maybe disengaged. That would be nice. That guy's outside of spotting range, so that's good. Hello, Pensacola. Well, we, we got one. This Pensacola could actually citadel me right now, which would be no good. But he's not looking at us. Somebody is, though. Ah, the Konigsberg's back. Oh, yes, the Konigsberg is back. Hi, Pensacola. That's death. Oh, of course it's not. I left him alive. I'm not allowed to kill somebody. Hey, look, torpedoes. Who could have seen that coming? Commander, 
на борту. Fair enough. We tried. But when you have a team full of people who can literally do nothing, it is a little bit of a struggle. 105,000 damage in a tier 4 and a tier 5 lobby. And the game was not even close. All of our destroyers were terrible. All of our battleships were terrible. All of our cruisers were terrible. It was a great... Great team effort. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go, Donkey. Uh, Mr. Yellow, I already played a match in the West Virginia. Uh, so if you missed that, I want to say it was, I don't know, maybe an hour into the stream. Somewhere in that neighborhood. But I did already play one in the West Virginia. <sighs> the Mutsu. Why do you want me to play the Mutsu so bad? Of all the ships you could pick, like the Mutsu? All right, I'll play the Mutsu next. Yes. Yes, I already, I, already I already played West Virginia, and I already sang the song. It was a thing. Yeah, that is the unfortunate reality of World of Warships. Because nobody knows what the hell they're doing. Everybody plays like an absolute idiot. So one side or the other gets completely steamrolled. Luckily, we've got four destroyers. Do, do, do. Hello, Normandy. Ooh, that could hurt. Yep. Donkey! Hello, Omaha. How are you? Hey, tell me, how do you like... How do you like it? Oof. Oof. I don't have a shot anymore. Unfortunate. It's alright, we've got Katovsky. Brand new Russian heavy cruiser. How good is the Katowski? Eh, about that good. Oh! Wow. Is he in reverse? He is in reverse. No, he's going forward. My shot... He's just going really slow forward, apparently. Interesting. So now we don't lead him as much. And the game... Okay. Alright, we got an Arizona. We've got this Normandy. Normandy's angled too much. Arizona's bow tanking us. Katowski is in a death turn, so we might as well take that shot. Horizontal dispersion looks beautiful. Only three hits. And no citadels. The Getty is spotted. Interesting. Oh, 
go get him, Getty. You're a gunboat. That was a good hit. Yes. Arizona, please. Please. Hmm. That looked like it stung a little, Arizona. Not gonna lie. And he knocks out one of my turrets. Of course he does. Game, give me the damn citadel so we can get on with this. Hey, Katowski, I didn't forget about you, brother. Doesn't matter. My shells go everywhere they have to to avoid him. Ooh, that looks good, though. Oh, but it, it's not. It just looks good. I am aware there is a T-22. T ah. My team is destined to throw this, I think. I think that's what I'm seeing. Four ricochets off of the superstructure. Seems about right. Need this Arizona gone game. Problem resolution. I love that they keep giving this fucking T-22, like... Alright. Cashew lolly... Oh, of course. Of course. I'm about to actually be able to shoot him, so... Now he disappears. Look at this! This man has gotten a fire every time he's hit me with a freaking uh, HE. Could you imagine being this fucking lucky? Fire the fucking guns! Oh my god, I hate that! It says that they're there, and then they're not. Imagine that. They're in our base. I wonder who could that be. I'm the only fucking person who gives a fuck. Like, I'm the only person that has actively tried to get back to the fucking base. Hi, Pensacola. Fancy meeting you here. Of course. Okay, so it's... Hey look, it's the Normandy we hit early. Oh, thank god they ran out. Oh, 
<laughs> Look at this bullshit. Well, I just hit him just hard enough to leave him alive. Wouldn't want to finish him off. That would be insanity. He wouldn't be able to set you on fire then. I'm trying to get to the fucking base, but uh, I have to take the long route because everybody on the planet is shooting me. Glad that everybody always gets a fire on me. Boy, my team was fantastic, weren't they? Once again, just the best. Look at the railguns! Six fucking penetrations. Love it. 125,000 damage. Game over. If only, if only, I had a teammate that could do something other than just waste everybody's fucking time. Could you imagine if one of these destroyers decided to come back to the base instead of chasing a fucking cruiser off the map? Wouldn't that have been something? Ah. <sighs> With RNG like that, you just have to uh, sit back and smile. I mean, that destroyer set me on fire every time he shot at me. The Pensacola sets me on fire with his dying breath. The Normandy set me on fire, like, what, four times there at the end. Like, you just, sometimes, just gotta smile and wave. Alright, where's the Mutsu? Somebody wants the Mutsu. I don't even have a commander on the Mutsu B. Might as well do that. This will be the first time I've ever used the Mutsu B. Um, Takio Takagi. There we go. Cunningham Sharnhorst is fine. Aiming systems, obviously. Steering gears. All right, guys. Mutsu it is. What's up, Kuda? Dalton, how's it going? ZZ? Obi-Wan, how's it going? Chase? Taylor? Still up to over 230 people watching. Appreciate everybody dropping by the stream tonight. I know it was impromptu, but, uh, you know, sometimes it'd be like that. What's up, Mr. Stiv? Fun fact, I don't even have a video for tomorrow. I should be trying to record right now. Get a video for tomorrow. I mean, I've only had how many games in, a, in, in like 100 plus K games? Any one of these would have been a good video. But I don't do the whole strip them from a uh, stream thing. When do I think I'll play City Skylines again? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's kind of a uh, when I feel like it game. You know what I mean? Uh, what is it? Tier fives? Okay, so we're top tier. That's a good start. A few cruisers. Hmm. 
the graw there. Oh, Fuso. Oh, Fuso, please. Please. Why? Oh my god, it's my first game. I forgot. Damn it. Damn the HE. Doesn't matter because the guy is slow as crap. For reasons unknown. Oh, the reload time. Oof. Come on. Get loaded. I'm gonna be behind the island. I ain't gonna be able to shoot him. Damn it. Heart's Blood 2. I don't know anything about Heart's Blood 2, but uh, I do know that if you stay out there, I am going to punish you. Wait for it! That felt really, really nice. Not gonna lie. I think he, he disagrees, but... Uh, for me, it felt pretty good. Hey, look, a war spike. Wait for it. Oof. Oof. Nice work. Back to back 20k plus. Ouch. I mean, this war spike really seems to want to die. <laughs> Hits me with one shell and gets a fire. Seems legit. He's on the back side of an island. Hmm. Well, these guys sure are making it easy to get damage in this thing. I'll give them that. Goodbye, war spike. I'm surprised he didn't get a fire with that one shell that hit my armor and shattered. Let's see. Right about there should do. I did tag him, but not as much as I thought I was going to. All right, Fubuki should be dead. Go ahead and start turning in. Target Kirov. He's going to be behind the island and disappear before I get a shot. Maybe. Yeah, I don't have a shot. Let's go ahead and start uh, switching the guns back to the other side. Hi, Kirov. Oof. That looked like it hurt. Oh, a double fire. Isn't that nice? Hmm. 
Did I aim it right? Yes, I did. Eh, yeah, that one isn't. I did hit him, though. I did hit him. And he's out of our range. Well, this was fun. What is tab G? Can I play Genizano? You should play Roma. Tier 5 and 6 is where I have the most fun. It's because it's easy to do really well at Tier 5 and 6. More Tier 5 than Tier 6. Don't be this pansy that runs all the way to the corner of the map when it's 1 versus 8. Just die. Get it over with. If you want to fight, that's one thing. But to just straight up run away for the last five minutes is stupid. Down he goes. All that running for that. All right. Well, second on the team this time that Agra beat us. But, uh, yeah, absolutely wrecked. Mutsu, still good. Um, somebody asked for Gnizeno, even though I don't want to play it, I'll do it. I'll do it. Can they just make War Thunder good already? No, they're never going to do it. Gaijin is not a very good developer studio, at least not in my opinion. I've played two of their games and I think both of them are terrible. War Thunder is terrible and so is uh, Crossout. Two battleships spawning over here. Very nice. Uh, we're not top tier. Oh Yeah, we are. It's tier six. All right. Well, let's see what we got. Prepare for salt. I'm in a Gnizno and it's top tier. Only one destroyer. What could possibly go wrong? War Thunder is not superb. War Thunder is awful on console. What's with this spawn, by the way? Like, I like the the premise of War Thunder. And I would love to actually like it, but the gameplay sucks. Like, just straight up, the gameplay sucks. It's a game it's a direct port from PC, and the controls are absolute trash for console. The developer is lazy as fuck. They don't want to come up with their own fucking control scheme for consoles, so they make you do it on your own. It's like, oh, here. We're not even going to try to fucking map this shit for you. Go good luck. Hello, Leander. That looks pretty good, actually. Oof. Three overpins, though. You hate to see it.
Ooh, that's the pop I like to hear. But look at that awful dispersion. This guy playing around. He's he's staying broadside for so long. He is depending on these to keep him alive. These overpins to keep him alive. One of these days, this is not going to overpin. Boink. Eh, still all overpins. Hey, the Cali didn't overpin. That's a bold strategy. Fucking hell! Are you fucking kidding me? Not a single shot hit him from five kilometers. All right. How does he get... Okay, he overmatches me. I forgot. Hmm. Interesting. And he breaks one of my guns. Yep. One point eight kilometers, and my shells are still missing the target. Secondary, thank you. Well, it was fun while it lasted. There you have it. Good night to know, everybody. Our team wins this match because the enemy is completely and utterly useless. And so, uh, GG's. We did our job. We attracted all of the damage. We pushed the enemy out of the caps. That is a uh, GG. I mean, we still got 70k. So there's that, too. It's not like we didn't do any damage. Considering we were missing from 1.8 kilometers, I mean, that's pretty fucking impressive. Do I mind playing something Japanese? I mean, I just fucking played the, the Mutsu. <laughs> what, what's that? I literally just fucking played the Mutsu in the last match. I guess... I. You want me to play the Amagi or something? I'll play the fucking Amagi. I ain't scared. Literally just played it, though. Where is it? Amagi, there we go. Let's grab it. Uh, I did Vladdy earlier. Um, so, probably won't do that one again. Play something English. Yeah. Hmm. 
two Shimas, two Yamis, and an Alaska. Fantastic. No ship I'd rather be in a legendary mansion than an Amagi. This will be fun. My least favorite ship at tier 7 probably is the uh, the Roma. Just due to the fact that they refuse to put a fucking commander in there that allows you to hit the fucking target from longer than 5 kilometers. Um, so yeah. Roma's probably my least favorite tier 7. What's up, Nugget? Alex? Alright, so here's my guess. One of the Shimas and the Yamis are going to spawn right here. Just a guess. They're going to have spotting, and they're going to smash me with a fucking, uh... Yami. Just guessing. I mean, our gearing did lay a smokescreen. So there's that. Hey, look, it's a Yami! Who could have seen that coming? I overmatched the bow of that Siegfried, so hopefully I can get a couple shells to land. Well, I got a couple shells to land. They just didn't do anything. Hey, look! A Shima! And our gearing appears to be about to die. No? He made it through? Nope, he took one. Took it right up the prop shaft. You'll love to see it. I really hope these torpedoes run out. I'm, like, counting on them not having enough to get it to me. I was going to say, really banking on the fact that they don't have enough to get to me. Oh, nice! Our Yami actually hit the guy. Love to see that. Our gearing is just firing his torpedoes blindly. Or, firing his guns blindly. Just wanting to die. Go ahead and change our guns to the left side of the ship. Am I the only one that thinks a plane should go down when the person that launches it dies? I better change course. There's a Shima that's got me spotted. Mostly horizontal, but he turns out. And we get one penetration and five ricochets. Get him! Kill the little bastard! I'm gonna take a Shima Torp up the prop shaft! Good news is that's the last of the Shima Torps, so we won't have to worry about that. Oh, 
And down goes our Yamato. Ouch. God, this thing takes forever to turn. I remember when the Amagi used to be fun to play. Back when it still had the ability to fucking turn. Sure, it was less accurate back then. But, it actually had the ability to, uh... Do the Dreadnought Shuffle and, and get some serious shots off, but... They still have two Yamis and an Iowa. That Yami's still in reverse, like the little bitch that he is. Keeping up with the tradition of uh, people going dark right as I get a chance to shoot at them. Wonder what it's like to have an Iowa and Alabama and a Yami shoot at you at the same time. <laughs> One. A two who and a three. Not bad. Come on, Amagi. Do him dirty. Show him you're the real Japanese battleship. Or not. Worcester's about to die in three, two, one, and... Ooh. Iowa decided to miss him. We've got a two-cap lead. We've got the points lead. So there's no reason for me to engage these two battleships and or these three battleships in the back left. But I am. I'm going to do it. If I can get around this fucking island and this slow piece of shit. I love that I'm spotted by a fucking plane on the other side of the goddamn planet. Look at this shit. It can't, there's no way that fucking plane can see me. But because the game is so fucking stupid with the spotting mechanics, that plane totally sees me. Dear God, please let these fucking shells do what they should do to a broadside fucking Yami. Well, it's better, but still didn't hit near as hard as it should have. But God knows, they hit me just plenty fucking hard. Of course. How could I forget that there's another Yami on the other side of the fucking map that only gives a fuck that I exist. How could I forget, chat? This, this Yami, all the way the fuck over here. At the fucking back corner of the map. This guy. 
This guy. This guy right here. Has nothing better to do with his fucking life while he's losing the match but to shoot at me all the way the fuck over here. Love it. Watch my team throw this. They, they should not lose this match. All they have to do is not be fucking stupid and throw their ships away. And they win. But they sure as hell appear to be getting fucking positioned to just throw the fucking game. Let's watch, shall we? Torpedo's out. He's gonna hit at least one. There we go. So there's that. Yami puts the damage control on. And goodbye, Siegfried. Wait for it. Alright. Yami dodges the torp. Nice. And goodbye, Edinburgh. Ah, the Edinburgh actually kills the Yami. The game is saved. And the Edinburgh immediately dies. Surely these guys understand the fact that they can't lose this match right now as long as they stay alive, right? Suja seems to. I say that as he turns back in towards the Yami. The Worcester dies. All this guy has to do is run away. Worcester. Or Suja. Or whatever the fuck you are. Hey, Suja. Yeah, you can't hear me because the game's still glitched out. I still can't talk into party chat. Or into game chat. All this guy has to do is run away. That's all he has to do. Oh, he's spotted at 10.4 kilometers from a Yamato. I wonder how this is going to work out. Well, the Yamato completely whiffed. So, there's that. I played the Georgia earlier. Didn't I? Pretty sure I did. This Suja is playing with fire, man. Literally. There's there's a good chunk of his health, and uh, here goes the rest. Mm. Yeah, real real good, Suja. And there it is. Wow. You love to see it, don't you? You love to see it. The Amagi, everybody. So much fun. Ah, <sighs> let's see. We're coming up on four hours streaming, so I think I'm going to call it a night. One more game. Uh, let's go ahead and play something American to finish it out, shall we? Something American. So we played Massachusetts earlier. I think we've played Georgia earlier. Did we play Iowa yet? Can't remember if we played Iowa. Then you got Kansas. Let's go, Kansas. 260 people watching. Thanks, everybody, for dropping by. Also, thanks for the new subscriber. I just saw that pop up. Let me check it. Check it. Chilltown, appreciate for being a subscriber. Also, I missed a subscription from Radnaz. Appreciate you. Thanks for becoming a subscriber. Welcome to the Spartan Navy. Appreciate you. Spartan Army slash Navy. 
What do we got? Fletcher. Ah, uh, they've got a Yami. Of course they do. Man, if I could ever get into a game like this in a fucking Yami where you're the only legendary in the match. Like, for real. Can we just talk about that for a moment? That dude in the Yami is literally the only fucking legendary in the, on his team. Hey, hey, shoot down those planes. Those are enemies. Shoot them. I don't care what you think. Shoot them down. That's a direct order. Enemy force on the horizon. Ooh. I think I might. Of course. Of course. Come on, make the mountain. Clear the mountain. Clear the fucking mountain. One fucking shell clears and it overpins. Unbelievable. Oh, great. There's a Georgia over there. That sounds fun. Hello, Fletcher. Two overpins. Go ahead and get that HE loaded for this fucking Jean Burt. Can you not, like, try to get killed by a fucking Cleveland? Can you, like, come over here and potentially help with the fucking three battleships? Like a good destroyer? Fire. Oh my god. Dude, what is our fucking destroy- Cleveland! Hello? Oh my lord. Do I have to fucking do everything? Is he gonna die to Torps? about teammates I really do like there are some really dumb fucking teammates out there destroyer goes back to take on a fucking Cleveland our Cleveland goes out to take on a Jean Bart like, what are what's the thought process for these guys for real I don't understand Well, I think I'll just go ahead and uh, damage con that. Attention. Reporting the target position. 
Ah, oh, those torps look pretty, pretty nicely placed. Not gonna lie. Goodbye. Oh, actually, he survives for all of this. <sighs> I swear to God, my team is pissing me the fuck off. Like, what the fuck is... It's a Conqueror. Of course it's a Conqueror. It's a legendary battleship. Should be angled enough. Hi, Georgia. How are you? You wanted my attention. Here you go. Do you like having my attention? Ah, those torpedo planes. You gotta love those. Of course he knocks out my gun. He hits me with a single fucking shell. Hits me with a single shell. Of course he knocks out my gun. I played the Weimar earlier, too, and put up 150,000 damage and four kills. Again. Balance. And this Georgia should probably shoot the Conqueror who's broadside on in front of him. Hey, he did too. Nice. You love to see it. I like how this Odin is just sitting here staring at me while the fucking torpedoes annihilate his ass. What a fucking gamer. What an absolute fucking gamer. Our team has taken the lead. Oh, good lord. With friends like these, am I right? The Spartan effect is real. What up, Damien? Welcome back. Absolute legend it is, Damien. I was originally going to uh, call it a game or call it a stream after this one, but I think I'm going to do another one because this has been absurd. Get bum rushed by everybody on the enemy team and my team tries to throw it away, and even they can't fuck it up bad enough. Palo goes down. Very nice. Mogami, Shokaku, and Fletcher. Appreciate that, Robert. I'm trying, man. I'm trying, that's for sure. Spotter airborne. Wait for it. Oh, that looks solid, man. That looks fucking solid. Boom! Of course. Only one. Only one. I mean, we just hit him with every fucking shell. We hit him with nine shells. Only got a single fucking citadel. Big surprise. Fletcher kills the Bismarck. Ah, 
Hello, Mogami. <laughs> of course. Of course it does. Boy, that was an enthralling game. Alright, let's play one more. Let's go straight Iowa. No, I haven't played the buff guard. Honestly, I'm feeling better. Today has been kind of a meh day. If you guys watched my push-up video, you know that uh, I was kind of not motivated today. I don't know. It was one of those days where just nothing seemed to go right. We did knock out all the push-ups in the uh, modifieds today, so that's good. Clubair and a Gearing and a Yami and a Worcester. Fantastic. Fantastic. Love to see it. What is the Ignis P? I don't know. Is that the fucking name of the... Like, Nagato? The American Nagato from the Warhammer DLC or whatever? Ignis Purgatio or something like that? Christopher Hill coming in for the $9.99 super chat. Appreciate you. You need this for some therapy after watching your teammates. Good lord. Gonna need a lot more than that for therapy, but I appreciate it, man. Thanks for the dono. Enemy force detected. Hey, look! The Yami's over here! Why wouldn't he be, right? I bet the Shima and the fucking Gearing's over here, too. Or the Gearing and the Clubera's over here, probably, too. Hey, look! The Clubair! And the Gearing! Who could have seen this coming? Alright, how far do we have to lead to, sit, to hit this fucker? Somewhere out there? Nope. Swing and a miss. Time to get dev struck by the, uh... The Yami. Actually, the Yami turned back inside for some reason. Hey, look, Clabertorps. Yeah, I think I'm on a hard pass on this side of the map, guys. Not gonna lie, it seems like a pretty fucking lost cause over here. I called it that all their fucking legendaries were here. The only one that isn't here is the fucking Worcester.
There we go. About four more salvos like that, he'll be dead. Till this Yami dev strikes my ass. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. Protect me, Bismarck. You would think with as much firepower as over on this side of the fucking map that those guys over there on the right would, like, win that side by now. Gearing annihilates our Kleber because reasons. I would love to be able to fucking maneuver my ship, but this Bismarck just does not want to leave my fucking hip. Yo, Harrison, member for 26 months. Appreciate you, dude. For real. OG. Look at that fucking dispersion. What the hell am I supposed to do if that's the kind of shit that I'm getting out of this? Hello, Gearing. Obviously. Obviously. Ah, <sighs> it's been a fun match. Are we only at 7,000 damage? Yes, we are only at 7,000 damage. You want to know why? Because we spawned directly across from a Yamato who hid behind the island from us and a Klebaron Gearing who uh, came after us. So we had to relocate. So yeah, we're only at 7,000 damage. They have destroyers that actually do their fucking job. We have destroyers that get annihilated off the back corner of the fucking map. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Yep. Yep. Working as intended. Can confirm having fun. Oh, look! Kleber lights up at 9.4 from us. Isn't that nice? Didn't set a fire. Boy, am I having fun, guys. And now he's going back behind the island. Torpedoes astern. Torpedoes to port. Is he going to do it? Hey, we just doubled our damage, guys. Woo! Six.
See, when you know these are gearing torps, you don't have to ask the question of, will these reach me? Because the answer is always yes. It's a lot of fun when you play games like this. Do you need support? Yes, don't we all? Hey, look, it's Paratus. I know that guy. I would love to turn back in and try to engage, but once again, I have another battleship right on my fucking hip. I wonder why the enemy's about to win. Could it be that they have destroyers and we, we don't? No, that couldn't be it. Hey, we lost our Bismarck. Who could have saw that coming? Bye, Paratus. Thanks for watching the stream, buddy. Uh, he shot at the Yami. Okay, we're good. The enemy is about to win. Yep. This is gonna hurt. Damn it. Turned right in front of these fucking torpedoes. Jijis. Well, that was fun. Huh, can we get one good game to end the stream on, please? Just one? We had so many good games early in the stream, and now all of a sudden we're not able to get any fucking decent matches. Honestly, I have no idea. I've never played the Hindenburg. Is that the, uh... The carrier? No, that's the Zeppelin, isn't it? I don't know. Doesn't it, though? Doesn't it look... It should look amazing. It's completely dominated by fucking destroyers that you cannot fucking do anything with. As a battleship. Like, we literally spawned across, in that match, we spawned across from the Yamato, the Gearing, and the Kleber. What the hell am I supposed to do in a fucking Iowa? I've got no choice. i got to disengage. i got to try to go back across the map. And then by that time, my entire team was dead. So it was a great fucking match. Fantastic.
Yeah, Neon's in on my team. Our destroyer's not playing, of course. Because, why would you, right? Enemy force detected. Spotted by planes already. Boy, this game sure is fun when you get spotted, like, from across the map by planes that aren't even anywhere near you. Knocked out one of his turrets, temporarily. Ooh, that looked like it hurt. What the hell was that? Main turret critically damaged. Stations requesting fire on the designated target. Hi, Turpits. <laughs> of course. You've got a clear shot, but we we're not gonna let you hit him. Fucking dispersion, dude. Engine boost activated. Hi, Colorado. Of course. Of course. Problem solved, sir. Of 
where she fucking disappears. I'm the only fucking person that gets spotted for the entire fucking duration of a match. Nobody else does. Just me. The ship is on fire. Fucking scream. And of, of course he double fires me. What am I thinking? Of course he fucking double fires me. Why wouldn't he, right? That's how this game always works. They reward the fucking bad players. So much fun. So much fun. I just want one good game to end the fucking match on, or end the stream on. Is that, why is that not allowed? You know what? What up, Reaper? I want Des Moines added to the game. That's that's the main one. I would also like Ohio. That would be fun. Boy, isn't this looking fucking familiar? Except there's three destroyers in this one. A gearing, a gearing, a fucking Friesland. Fantastic. Love it. I'm so glad that these fucking idiots with crossplay turned off dragged me into these stupid fucking matches. If you've got crossplay turn off, just uninstall the game. How about that? If that gets me kicked out of the fucking CCs, I don't care. Like, just seriously, if you turn crossplay off, just fucking do us all a favor. Just stop playing. I hate this bullshit. I'm tired of getting fucking pulled into these stupid ass matches. I get into anything else, I get pull, pulled into fucking bullshit legendary matches where everything that counters me perfectly is against me. I get in my fucking Shima to have fun, and what do I get? Three fucking destroyers in a six versus six. So much fun. So much fucking fun. Why can't I have this more often, Wargaming? Please, give me more of this. It's so fucking fun. I enjoy this so much. Don't you guys enjoy it when you get put into bullshit matchmaking? Yes, it's so much fun. It's bad enough that I get put in fucking legendary after legendary after fucking legendary. Get into a fucking ship, try to fucking have a little bit of fun. What do I get? Fuck you, Spartan. You don't want to have fun, do you? Fuck your Shima. It's too powerful to go into a fucking full lobby. We're going to put you up against two fucking gearings as the only thing that's against you. It's amazing. Requesting intelligence. 
You know, I request intelligence out of my teammates, too. Can I get some fucking teammates that have intelligence? That would be nice. Hey, look, one of the gearings. We got the gearing! I need to get into that cap. Also, I know I trigger. Oh, of course, it goes dark. Fire. Hey, look, there's the other gearing. Yeah, getting control of the AA would be nice in a destroyer. Because then you could turn it off and not be like zoned by a battle or by a carriers. May have hit that prematurely. to get this cap all right secured the win time to go kill this fucking Iowa
GG Neon. Hey look, my high caliber. Armor piercing on a broadside Iowa in Ishima? Question mark? Yeah, why not? Hey, let's just park. Let's just park. Ah, look, he hurt me. They better stop putting me in these fucking 6v6 and 5v5 lobbies. I am just absolutely dominant in them. Well, I mean, he was stern tanking us, so that's to be expected. Like, I, I was expecting not to get a lot of hits. That's why I kept going and got a broadside on him and started shooting him with AP. Let's see, is this guy close enough to spot me? No, he is not. He is in Charlie, never mind. Well, this game's over, guys. GG. Finally, finally got it done. Do I think Conqueror needs to be nerfed? No. Conqueror's fine. It's squishy, so it's fine. Claber needs a fucking nerf. Shima needs a fucking nerf. GG's. You, you have got to be joking, Django. You hate legendary ships because the Parsifal can't scratch any of them. Are you on crack? Are we talking about the same Parsifal?
170,000 damage. We don't even get top of the leaderboard because apparently Grossa Kerfers did better than us? Question mark? But uh, we did our job. We did everything to secure the win. We absolutely obliterated the Grosses on their way in. We uh, took out one of the gearings, uh, captured a base. We did everything. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end the stream there, guys. It's been been a good one. Uh, we had quite a few fun moments, quite a few salty moments. Don't forget, salt ration is tomorrow. Same time as usual. Uh, should be like 1 p.m. Eastern time to 4 p.m. Eastern time, usually, somewhere in that neighborhood. So looking forward to seeing everybody there. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.